Kiambu Governor Kimani Wamatangi has defended President William Ruto's decision to abolish popular Kazim Taani program in urban areas across the country. The project was introduced in April 2020 by former retired President Uhuru Kenyatta to cushion unemployed youth living in informal settlements in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. President Ruto scrapped it on Tuesday, saying that his government was exploring better and current employment programs. According to the Kiambu governor, who was speaking to one of the top country media houses, that the president's move was justified because the Kazim Taani project did not achieve its goals. And I quote, if you want to impact our youth with skills and long-term value, this is not the way to do it. That is not the way to apply the resources that you have in your hands, useful for the gains of young people, he said. He also said that most youth spend the money on alcohol while purporting to rescue them from unemployment and alcoholism. President Ruto had on Wednesday said the Kazim Taani project had low income and limited opportunities for the Kenyan youths compared to his housing project proposal, which would upscale the number of the youths. The commander of chief reassured Kibera residents that they would be given the first priority in the incoming project, further stating that he had directed governors to plan for similar initiatives across all towns in the country. What is your opinion about Kiambu County Governor? Kimani Wamatangi coming out to say that the Kazim Mtaani project was a waste of government resources. Feel free to leave your comments down below and thank you for tuning in to Zafarani TV.